At 4 o'clock, when the sun sets, it's showtime. Well, there's an Olaf out there. There's Santa pulling us, being pulled by reindeer. For the Claghorns, it's a tradition they've shared for nearly two decades. And when we first got married, found out we both loved Christmas, and it just kind of grew from there. So much so, they ended up on the Dr. Phil show. I absolutely love decorating my house for Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas! My family calls me Grandma Claus. The elaborate setup was a hobby for Judy, but her family said it's more like Christmas exploded in their house. The kids used to say, if you stand still too long, Grandma will decorate you. I left nothing undecorated. It took a long time to get it done. Some Grinches, though, put all that decorating to a stop. My family decided that it was too much work for me and that I got grumpy trying to get things all done. If she couldn't decorate inside anymore, she decided to join her husband outside. To her, more hands meant more holiday cheer somewhere else, though Judy admits it's probably not exactly what her kids meant. They don't have a problem with it as long as they don't have to help. <laughs> it went from a few yard decorations and lights to dozens of giant inflatables. They hope it brings a smile to people passing by. It just gives you a good feeling to be able to impart a little joy to these people, to the kids. The Claghorns are known on their block and beyond. People from as far away as Arizona have seen their displays. It grows each year and takes even longer to set up. Time goes by and we're getting older and slower and it takes a little longer every year, but we're still at it. Who knows when I'll quit, but it'll be a while. Until then, Lee and Judy are making Christmas memories for all to see. I love Christmas. I love the, sp the true spirit of Christmas. And we enjoy talking to people. And you can't even imagine how much joy it brings to other people.